YouTube, what's going on? Mike here, back with another one. All right, so today I'm going to install my um, indicators for the front there. I'm gonna replace these stock ones. And um, also, I'm, I'm installing these. I forgot I had these coming. But basically, um, they are uh, license plate lights. Uh, I had uh, that light up there zip tied up there so at night I can um you know see the light come on you know they can have the light over my license plate pretty much you guys know what I'm trying to say <laughs> so I'm just gonna basically change them to these and um you know see how that goes and we're gonna put in my indicators up top uh, I'm gonna come in and out show you guys how I'm gonna do it which is pretty simple you know but why not show you how it goes? I'm pretty much gonna have to take off the headpiece here and, you know, unbolt them and do all that good stuff. So I'll be back with you guys in a second. All right, before I change it, I just wanna show you how the light looked before. So that is the stock light that was in the tail. So I just wanna show you how the, how the light was projected. So you guys have a reference to how it looks. All right. Okay, YouTube, um, let me show you what I got so far. All right, so there's one in, probably gonna put both of them in. And um, how I got it wired in, I didn't got it, I don't have it taped off yet, but um, if you guys do this, it's green to ground and brown to red. Uh, yeah, I just cut off from the housing because I'm not gonna use it anymore, so. Um, and I didn't, the first time I ever seen these on, shout out to you, Jerry Hawk, I did see these on your bike, so, you know, I did see that there. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to finish up, put the other one in, wire them together, get it done, and then I'm gonna work on the um, headlights. So, yeah, pretty much, uh, I had to take the seat off to, you know, to know which connectors were which, what goes to that light. And uh, where is that light? Oh. So, this is it right here. I just cut it from here because I'm, I'm not going to use this for anything. Um, yeah, so that's out. And then, you know, so we'll get back to this. I'll do the other one and then um, show you the finished product. And then I'll start on the indicators up front. Okay, so starting on the front, um, I pretty much got the back done. Show you guys. I'm going to show you guys again when I'm all finished up. But here's the back. And I'm gonna start on these indicators now, get these big old things off there. And um, I'll show you how easy that is. That's pretty much, you know, um, connectors are, they look like they're the same as these, but I don't know, we'll see if we're wire in or I'm gonna have to cut them in, we'll see. All right, so if you guys are gonna get these, wire them, wiring them up are, is like pretty easy. So these two black wires, which were two green wires for the indicators going there, um, one orange for the was the left, but right now, but it's the left side, and the light blue one, where is light blue, was for the other one, which was this one. Oh, I just unplugged, just unplugged it out. So let me plug it back in. All right, and let me show you guys what it looks like. So, yeah, I'm gonna put it all back together and show you guys what the finished product looks like. So YouTube, here's how it looks from the front. Let's do the other side. Let's see the flush mounts on the back. So, straighten it up. You can see how it looks from just the front view. Very minimal, very small. And then let me show you guys the all right, so we are done. Everything was a success. And these are wired in easily just by following the existing tail light wires. So whatever bike you have, it should work uh, either or. So 
Appreciate you guys. Um, I'll be back with another one. And uh, I think that's it for this bike for now. Um, I have some stuff coming in for my Honda and um, I got some stuff coming in for my 250 over there. Uh, I probably told you guys I'm getting the other fairing for it from Venom Motorsports and I have the other fairing there. So I'm thinking about painting these fairings here all red and have the bike all red. So we'll see how that goes. Also, um, I'm gonna um, change this rear sprocket back to stock and I'm gonna change a new put a new chain on it. So um, I haven't ridden it so long without it being stock. I wanna see how it is. And um, plus I'm probably gonna have stock on there for a while until I get my 38 tooth that I'm probably gonna order from PBI Sprockets again. So yeah, just a little update on that. And um, I will be back with another vid guys. You guys take care, take it easy, peace.